Good morning, peoples. It's Wednesday morning, about 7 a.m. I've been driving for about an hour. Headed to Jacksonville, Florida. What happened was, I buy cars on the auction site. And nine times out of ten, or usually almost every time, I just tell them, hey, deliver the car to me. I'll pay the transport fee. Transport fee usually in Florida runs around anywhere from $700 to $900, depending on where is it at. So what happened was I bought a older work truck, Ford 2005, I think, Ford F-350 four-door King Ranch. However, they consider that an oversized truck, oversized load. I had to call and get a quote for transportation. <clears throat> they wanted around $2,000 to bring that truck from Jacksonville, Florida, to Grantville, I mean, Jacksonville, Florida, to Grantville, Georgia. That is unreasonable, in my opinion. So, I just figured me and Lisa or me and somebody could just drive down there and we'll drive it back. What I didn't figure out was everybody has something better to do than go to Jacksonville, Florida. I don't blame them. Who wants to drive all the way to Jacksonville, Florida, five and a half hours, pick up a truck and drive it all the way back five and a half hours, besides me? That's just one of the uh, no fun things to do in our business, used car business. Um, so what I'm doing is I got a 2014 Camry that off the lot something with good gas mileage I'm going to drive it down there rent a U-Haul transport hook it up to that Ford F-350 and tow them back, both back well, I'm going to load this car on and tow it back with the F-350 hopefully if the F-350 is in good shape remind you that I buy these things sight unseen and I'm just taking the dealer's word for it that it's a good truck. So, we'll see. I'll update you. It's Like I said, it's 7 o'clock. I'll be down there. Mm, I've been on an hour since hour 6, 7. I'll be there about 11.30. Probably take an hour to get it. and Another hour to get a U-Haul auto transport. And. Then load it up. I should be back home uh, probably around 7 or 8 o'clock tonight. Just another day in the used car business. We'll see. Stay tuned. Well, five hours later, I am in Florida. It's 11 o'clock. Sunny and 80 degrees. I got about an hour to go. It says Jacksonville, 58 miles. I'm on I 10. We'll see. A long drive from Atlanta to Jacksonville. I get down there in six hours. Woo, it's going to be a long drive back. Stay tuned. Man, it's gorgeous in Florida. I may have to stay a while. Well. Successful trip got down here. Got this Ford F-350. Went to pick up my U-Haul trailer and one of the brake calipers are locking up. So before I can go all the way back to Atlanta, I'm going to find a brake repair shop and have a new brake caliper put on it. It's always something. Welcome to my world. 2003 Ford F. 350 with the V10 engine. This is what I picked up in Jacksonville, Florida. I'd have two brake calipers 
and brakes on it before I could even leave Jacksonville. I just got to adapt for the kind of kink in my plans. It's now 4.30. Probably won't get home to like midnight tonight. I'm pulling the 2014 Camry that got me here. Man, that Camry gets 33 miles to the gallon. That car is a good car. It's a good truck, four wheel drive. We'll see if it gets me back. King Ranch. I always like these King Ranch. We'll see. Hopefully no more hiccups. Florida, it has been a good visit, but it's getting late and I'm moving back into Georgia. It's Friday afternoon, about 5.30. It's a good truck, man. 159,000 miles. I like the car play. I got my Pandora, my messages, and Maps all over. Cold air. It's a good truck. I like these King Ranches. Man. I like the seats. They still look good even for an older 2003. Still a good truck. There's somebody who keeps following me back there. Oh, can't see it like that. That black car is on my tail. This truck pulls this car like there's nothing behind it. All right, my ETA is a citizen. Nine o'clock. I got 245 more miles, three hours and 41 minutes. See you then. What a really, really good 2003 Ford F-350 with a 6.8 liter V10 gas engine, FX4 off-road. Suspension, Rhinox, Linux, bed liner, running boards. King Ranch. King Ranch. Love the interior of a King Ranch. Going to fix that one armrest right there. Manage it. This is a beast. Just put new brakes and new brake calipers, both front. This is not a gas saver. Headed back from Florida. I just picked it up at Beaver Chevrolet in Jacksonville, Florida. Thank you, Beaver Chevrolet, for this truck. Look at that. 265 in Valdosta. Man, another thing I like about this truck, zero squat. Pulling that heavy trailer, that car on there, and absolutely no squat at all. This is my new favorite truck. Okay, a quick update. We are, I think it's like, I don't know what time it is. Uh, 7.50, 10 till eight. We are on this side, on the other side of Macon, coming into Macon. Have about 120 more miles to go. It says an hour and 45 minutes. It looks about, it's gonna be about 10 o'clock. Just wore out, a uh, long day. I think I'm gonna go in and check out what this store has to offer. If anybody ever been there. Bring my wife something from Bucky's. So, walk around. What the heck happened there? Oh, there I am. Walk around Bucky's and get Lisa something, a souvenir, a 
trinket or something. Because I can't go to Bucky's without bringing her something. Anyway, I need to get out and stretch my legs and get a bottle of water. I've got two more hours. It's a good trip so far. Well, just after 10 o'clock, maybe 10 15, 10 20, made it home safe and sound. Just one little more hiccup, one hiccup. For the last 100 miles, we came in on nine cylinders. It's a V10. Blew a spark plug out of one of the cylinders. Don't know which one. Didn't even look. We'll look at it tomorrow morning. Um, not uncommon. They make repair kits for it. But it did happen. It's always something. Have a happy. I'm going to bed.